Hi, what's up, my YouTubers? If y'all guys can see me, um, today, um, it's me and my husband's anniversary. It's our anniversary, and we just decided to do us a little mock bang. Um, we got pork, fried pork chops, another bit gravy, rice, and we're drinking our wine today. Um, make sure you hit a thumbs up on this video. Like, comment, and subscribe. And let's pray. Let's get into it. Oh, I mean, if you are um, new to this channel, welcome to the Diamond Empire. And if you're not new, welcome back. All right. I'm going to pray. God is great. God is good. And we thank you for this food. Bye. Here's the little pet. Thank you for the steady prayer. Amen, y'all. And we're going to go on and get into it. Today we're gonna talk about what they wanna talk about. Mm -hmm. What you wanna talk about? <laughs> what do you wanna talk about, bro? Um mm -hmm. I mean subject of how we fell in love, I guess. This how did we fall in love? I think it was a, a more connection thing, a physical thing, than more than anything. So, Well, tell me. Tell the people how we fall in love. You know what I'm saying? Tell the people what it was. Well, we met on Facebook. Like I said before on my other one. Uh, met on Facebook. I kept on dodging him. Because I thought he was like one of those player types. And I have not time. I did not have time. Do not have time for the Bulls games. And I just thought he was about them games. So, we met on Facebook. Come on, Jordan. And then one day he came back from the Facebook. We started talking. We started laughing. And we hit it off. I didn't know That he had someone with pride for me. So, mm. but we know, you know. But I'm happy that he told me. When we decided to get married, was. Well, Shocking to me. Because he asked me out the gate. No lie. He asked me. I was playing cards at his cousin's house. And he asked me to marry him on Facebook. Me, I'm thinking it was a joke. But it really was. So we decided to. He asked me to marry him. He and he decided to put a ring on my finger. October the third of two thousand nineteen. Yeah, pretty much. Yeah, yeah. two thousand nineteen. Mm -hmm. And then we just decided to okay. To get married. Oh yeah, oh yeah. This is how just mm -hmm. make it do what it do, you know. Shout out to my girl, Country Cash, you know. She doing big things in life, you know. She got a book going. You know what I'm saying? She writing it as usual, you know. The devil had me, but God saved me. Y'all, y'all tune into that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all tune into that. You know, the, you know, the, the you know what I mean? You know, and, you know, she got big things going on in her life. You know what I'm saying? And I'm proud of my baby. You know what I'm saying? AKA my wife. You know. So y'all, y'all tune in. 
I don't know he remembered the title, y'all. That's the best place to think about it. I am not going to remember the title. So shout out to my husband, Mary Lewis. Shout out to him the title. I'm happy that he told me to be his wife. Um, I love my baby, you know. Sometimes it's hard, you know. You go through a lot, but at the end of the day, I'm not going nowhere. He ain't even. Guess that you gotta toughen it out and make you know. Toughen it out. Take it day by day and step by step. Cause it, it, it's hard to love someone after they've been hurt before. You know, they don't trust nobody, they can't even put they they, they go out down and it's hard for them to trust somebody, which is understandable. Yeah, it'd be hard. Be hard at day, you know. We got we got our ups and downs, but you know we make it through. You feel me? Yeah. So you know what I'm saying. If you're in a marriage or a relationship or whatever, you know, shit, just try to push through day by day. You know what I'm saying? And put God first. You feel me? Y'all, he is shocking me today, y'all, because he ain't even talk like this, y'all. <clears throat> wow. Yeah, put your foot in this right here, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> right here, <laughs> yeah, y'all, take it day by day, step by step. Don't you got golf, keep golfers? Your marriage will work out for you. I see so many people breaking up and whatnot. They've been there so long. They're breaking up. I'm just saying, if it, if it were fighting for it, fight for it. If it's not, move on. <laughs> mm, yep, yeah, if it's not, shit, just move on to life, you know what I'm saying? If it were keeping, shit, keep your marriage straight and keep your, your relationship all together, you know what I'm talking about? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I mean, relationship's important, you know what I'm talking about? I mean, especially if you love the one. Your significant other or whatever, you know what I'm saying? You keep it, you keep it G, you know what I'm saying? You keep it 100 with your significant other, you know what I'm saying? If you don't want to be with your significant other, you know, just straight out tell her, you know what I'm saying? Him or her, you know what I mean? That hell it is what it is, you know what I'm talking about? There ain't no beating around the bush, you feel me? Just let them know. Don't go, and don't go, and y'all, y'all females kill me, some of y'all young guys, female kill me. When you break up with the next with that with the next person, make sure that chapter close. Don't keep going back and forth to the next person, cause you make a conflict and you gonna and that's a dangerous thing you plan. So once you close that that chapter with that person, then you be able to move on. But if you still got feelings and, and stuff for that person, don't move on to the next nigga. Please don't. Exactly. Exactly. You don't do that. Exactly. Y'all playing a dangerous game out there if y'all playing that tight game, you know what I'm talking right. about? Cause that tight stuff there gets you killed, you feel me? Yeah. Like, for real, for real. You know? Yeah. So, y'all just keep it G with y'all significant other, you know what I'm saying? Keep it keep it like 100, you feel me? You know what I'm talking about? feelings and emotion will get you killed. So make sure that you close everything. The sex, the, the feelings, the, the, the love, all that. Make sure... Yeah, all that stop. You know what I'm saying? Make sure all that deceased before you move on to the next person. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, Joe Biden won the president. <laughs> mm. 
Yeah, that's what the guy was so happy when I found that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I mean, if y'all voted for Joe Biden, out there, you know what I'm saying? Congratulations to y'all, y'all, you know what I'm saying? Vote, you know. That's the key for all us black African Americans out here, you know what I'm saying? Keep it G, keep it 100, you know. Changes everything, you know. I hope Joe Biden do what he say and not with all the talk, you know. And keep it 100, you feel me? Yeah, um, we, um... You bought it for Joe Biden. You know. Mm -hmm. Trump and his campaign trying to, you know, fight and stuff, but they getting rejected in every state, so. Take your air and get out of that. You know what I'm saying? It's not Like people say, change is a good thing. You know what I'm saying? Like my husband just said, change is a good thing. When you can change for that person and he make you better, change is a good thing. But don't start changing for you to get if you're not happy with the change. Make sure you're happy with the change. Some of these people, some of these people will make you change for them, and then they gotta go cheat on you, and you don't get out of change for him, and you don't like, you don't like the change, but you, you, you want to, you clarify the change. So just make sure you change you know, It's for you and him both, and not for just one side of the party. For sure, for sure. Oh yeah. I mean, and um. Another thing for y'all viewers or whatever, you know. I mean, if you jump to another relationship, like baby just said, you know what I'm saying? Make sure, make sure that's what you want or whatever, you know what I'm saying? Make sure you close that door. You know what I mean? For real, for real. Make sure you close that door. Because hearts have been hurt. Plenty of hearts have been played with and stomped on and hurt, you know. And I see like that ain't cool. So, you know what I'm saying? Make sure that's what you want before you jump into another relationship. Yeah. Make sure. This baby wants some gravy today, y'all, with some rice. Mm. Oh, no. I think he was reading my mind because I want to meet some, too. Put your foot in this right here. Oh, I'm almost smacking the talking out. What were you so sorry? Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, for y'all viewers out there, y'all make sure y'all tune into my baby. She's writing another, a new hit, you know what I'm saying? Fight you for the screech, you feel me? So, y'all make sure y'all look for that, you know what I'm saying? 
new music coming soon. You know what I'm saying? Make sure y'all look for that. You know what I'm saying? Country Cat Diamond. You know what I mean? Y'all look for that. You know? That's what's up. Thank you. Yeah, that's my baby good shit. My husband is New music on the way. I'm going to do some challenges. And some more, some more, more bangs. And I'm going to do some um, pranks. I ain't pranking him, y'all. Uh-uh. Uh-uh. I think I'm going to prank my, my family, his family sometime. Some of my family. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Make sure you like, you comment, and subscribe to this video. Subscribe to my channel. And I hope everybody have a blessed Monday. And to all my subscribers, I love y'all. And it's time to have us a little dog time, you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, yeah, see, y'all keep it G out there, you know what I'm saying? Y'all keep it 100, you know what I mean? Country Cat Diamond, you know what I'm saying? The queen of the bill, you know, the queen of the screech, you know what I'm saying? Keep it 100, shit, we out.